Back here a little closer to home, Teresa, the Oceanside Police Department is looking to catch kids doing good this summer. The Random Acts of Kindness program is now underway. Here to tell us more is Jennifer Atenza with Oceanside Police Department. Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, this is a story, as I mentioned before the break, that I just love getting to spotlight. One, because I think it shows that our police departments are doing so much more than just patrolling our streets. So kind of talk about how this all got its start and what you're looking for this summer. Absolutely. So the Oceanside Police Department was uh, gifted with a donation from a family, uh, and we then it snowballed from there. We took that donation. We went out and did random acts of kindness around the holidays. Uh, people saw that on the news. They heard from friends, word of mouth, and then we were fortunate to receive another donation from another family that wanted to he keep that program going and further our efforts. So we're going to be out this summer continuing that and doing some random act of kindness and really encouraging our kids to do positive things over the summer. I think, you know, we hear summer slide all the time when it comes to schools and kids getting distracted and maybe not reading as much or, or being as engaged because they have so much downtime. So talk to me about the things you're going to be looking for. What, uh, what are some of the things you're going to hopefully be spotlighting? We're going to have some fun catching kids in the act doing good. So <laughs> we're looking to catch them wearing their helmets when they're riding their e-bikes or their e-bikes or their scooters. We're looking to catch them out at the parks, engaged in positive behaviors. We're looking to catch them at the library, maybe checking out some books and reading over the summer. So just reinforcing those positive behaviors, we want to encourage our kids to do good over the summer, and we want to recognize them for it. And how important is it for kids to see officers in a different light? I think, you know, if whether it's their parents or them themselves who have maybe gotten into trouble in the past, I mean, kind of being able to change that narrative and connect in a different way, I mean, that's got to be uh, something that, that can only benefit everyone. Absolutely. It's everything. A lot of... Uh, folks I work with on the department have their own experiences that they had maybe with an officer when they were little. I had mine. I had my moment where I was a young teen and I had an, a moment with an officer where he took the time to really talk to me and just engage with me and that stuck with me. And that actually set me on the course to this career path. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for that positive interaction with that officer. It made a huge difference in my life. It changed the course and the trajectory of my path. So making sure that we have those positive impacts and we're connecting with our youth is so critical in our community. Um, we wanna make sure that we're catching them at that early on age and they understand that we're in the community to help them. Um, we're there as their helpers, we're there to serve them. And what are you thinking uh, this summer that's going to be kind of a, a challenge? I know, again, when kids just don't have that normal routine, they're not going to school, maybe their parents aren't home as much because they go to work. I mean, what are some of the things that you are going to be kind of uh, maybe on the lookout for and, and hopefully be able to change that, like you said, before it gets to that point? Yeah, we're going to be looking for kids out and about, um, out at parks, out at community centers, out enjoying their summer and reinforcing that positive behavior yeah. so they understand, hey, we recognize, we see that you're doing good, we want you to continue that and set that example for your friends. There we go. Setting the example. And then, of course, we were talking off camera just about how many people heard about this. Uh, some on Good Morning San Diego who actually just loved the idea and wanted to be able to, to benefit it. How can people help out if they love this and they want to make sure that it keeps going? Absolutely. We, we definitely have KUSI to thank because it was a result of doing an appearance about some of our random acts in the past that the Borwick family came forward and gave us an additional donation, which has helped us continue this effort. So if anybody's interested in joining us in this project, we are open and available to it. They can reach out to myself. My email is jatenza at oceansideca.org. I have the benefit of helping lead this project for the department, and we were open to any assistance that we can get to keep this going. Gosh, we are just such big cheerleaders for this. I think it's going to make such a huge difference, so keep up the great work. Thank and thanks so much for joining us to share about it. Thank you.